spark at the end of this first quarter. Who will provide it? They go to Faber, a three, drills it. Just what the Blue Jays needed, Andre. Now looking for points. Corner three falls, a beautiful shot. Peyton Brodsky, the freshman. Just to overtime against Xavier, and he said she's a, a gamer, she's not afraid. I mean, a road win here at Omaha would be a huge rebound after the loss to Providence. Great passing, and it pays off. Brooke Kissinger lays it up at him. Can Meek Mill going earlier? Just get the juices flowing. Next time I've got to pack my earplugs, I got to remind myself. How about it? Timmy Sarda hooping the harm, and she's giving Blue Jays some life in this first half. And that's absolutely what this Creighton team needs right now, Jay, is some energy. The sophomore, Temi Sarda, she's had a strong conference. Bottom. Well, whatever Kirk Letsky did, it is working. This team, a 15-2 start, a 5-1 record in conference play, and now they hope to be in that postseason tournament team. Kissinger again, floater falls, and Creighton starting to claw their way back into this one. Great decision by Kissinger because any defense is going to come flying out at the Blue Jays with how well they shoot the ball. So she. 3.7 seconds left. What do you try here, Kim? I would send it long, but Creighton has to make sure they don't foul because Butler will go to the line. And a travel before the. Going inside. Audrey Faber opens the scoring in this second half. They'd love for her to heat up. Just three. That is, that's a scouting report point. You don't give up an open three to Whitney Jennings. Probably the one player on this team you have to be out on. Faber the answer. <laughs> to a 20 to 4 lead. Creighton 11 turnovers in that first half. And they've really never found a rhythm offensively.